getting a late ADHD diagnosis is like a double-edged sword. Well, at least it was for me. So you you feel kind of validation that all of these things that you've gone through over the course of your life, you know, your childhood into your college years, your um your early career and so on. Um you feel like there's so much validation around the struggles that you had. Um you know, and, and that's going to be completely different for everybody, you know, on an individual basis. Nobody knows what anybody else is going through or what anybody else's experiences have been. But things like, you know, damaged relationships, things like having um, social anxiety, things like not being able to live up to the um, expectations or the level of your friends. All of these things when you're growing up, you know, feeling kind of alone or different or outside of the norm, you now have validation for that. And that's the great side. That's the good side of the sort. But on the other side, you now have knowledge that your whole life could have been completely different. So when I was diagnosed, I was uh, 35, I think. And I went through an awful lot of grief, I think, you know, at the lost potential of my youth and my kind of early 20s. How how would my life have been different had I gotten an early earlier diagnosis? If I had the support or if, even if I had the knowledge to be able to, you know, realize I was thinking a certain way because of ADHD or I was looking at things a certain way because of ADHD and be able to pull myself back in like I can now. Um, where would I have gone? What would I have done? Would I have done better in the leaving cert? I have no doubt that I would. <laughs> would I have, you know, um, made stronger friendships or had, you know, more um, close and connected relationships? Maybe. But, uh, it's one of the things that people don't necessarily expect when they go for a late ADD or ADHD diagnosis. You know, you want answers. And I did as well. I wanted really quick answers and I wanted to know and I needed that information uh, regardless of what the situation was. But there are kind of, you know, mental health challenges around receiving that diagnosis um, that don't seem to be talked about an awful lot and I think there's there's potential there an opportunity for us to be able to kind of put some sort of framework or some sort of uh, roadmap or FAQ or something out there you know to let people know hey look this is the process that you're going to go through these are the things that are going to come up when you go through this process and these are the things you need to look out for you know you may <coughs> you may see all of these positives but you may also kind of be accosted with some really negative stuff that can hamper um, you know, all the good news and all the um, opportunity for potential going forward. So let's think about that and let's think about, um, you know, helping friends and colleagues and family when they're going through this process. Yes, it's great, but there's also the negative side where support is needed and reach out and support your friends and family and colleagues as they're going through these situations.